And with the cars, I like to make them be intense. I, I think I push the colors to make them pop a little more. And I try to position the cars sometimes so they're like sneaking around the corner and jumping in your face. It's like standing next to the edge of the track where people can't always get to. Eight years ago, Gary Dash painted his first race car as a way to remember his work in the racing industry and to commemorate his love of motorsports. The quality of his paintings has attracted the attention of those in the racing industry and the art world. I like to paint big. When I'm painting some of these, I, I think about where possibly they could go, whether it's in an office or on a gallery wall in a show. That gets me excited thinking about that. Hi, I'm Amy Carroll, host of Arts in Indiana and the president of the Speedway Arts Council. Recently, I met up with Gary Dausch to discuss the month of May here in Speedway, Indiana. I journeyed to a studio where we sat down and chatted about his passions in racing, his family's long history with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and of course, painting. You can watch that interview on SCTV YouTube channel, on Channel 28 on Comcast, or on Channel 99 on at and UVerse. You can also see Gary's artwork up close and personal at the Speedway Center for the Arts, now through June 19th. You can also meet Gary at his opening reception on May 21st from 5 to 9 p.m. The Indianapolis 500 program has been a canvas for motorsports artists for the last 100 years. And now you can see all 100 programs all in one place. And that place is here at the Speedway Center for the Arts. The programs are on display now through June 19th with an open house on May 13th from 6 to 9 p.m. The town of Speedway is the place to be for the month of May, so welcome race fans and art fans to the Speedway Center for the Arts.